the understage passage. I really can't believe that Trucy killed Mysterious. I guess it's possible for a small girl to lift a dead body up to that she used the stage lift. Is it possible? Could a Trucy really be have if Trucy did use the stage lift? I I think she must have used stage lift number two. Yes. I was on stage the entire time, by the way. You were on stage the whole time? And you're sure about that? There is no question. The entire audience could testify to that fact. What's more, she is, clone she is shown clearly in the TV show footage as well. I couldn't possibly have killed Miss Re Mysterious, not little old me. Therefore, the only person who could have killed the victim under stage is the accused. Furthermore, by using a stage lift, even a petite young lady could have raised the body up to the stage without difficulty. You've got to be kidding me. Very well. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. You said you're a huge fan of Trucy's, isn't that right? Oh, yes. Uh... I even became a magician because I wanted to be just like her. Well, the first time I saw her, she was performing at the Wonder Bar. She was the only junior high back then, but she got up on stage and with tons of confidence. And then she proceeded to win the heart of, with her astonishing tricks and a winning smile. Hmm. She certainly sounds like she means all of that. So, finally being able to perform with her must have been quite a treat for you, right? Oh, yes. After all, it was my chance to be, to have her see me. Not just as a fan, but as a fellow magician! Oh. But then that horrible accident happened. It was not an accident. It was murder. Witness, please explain if you would. How a small young woman such as Trucy Wright could have raised the body. A small young woman, such as not you. What makes you think it would be possible? It's not like you tried it out yourself, right? Wink! Well, um... Actually, we did try it for ourselves. You did? Detective Sky, if you would. Oh. So that's why you made me do that. <laughs> Detective Sky, what did he have you do? The prosecutor, uh, the prosecutor asked me to try raising one of the male police on the stage lift. Without a single word of explanation as to why he was making me do it. You're kidding. <laughs> It's as if he really can foresee all of the counter-arguments. <laughs> Do not underestimate this humble servant of the Holy Mother. More like haughty. Nice. Well done, Apollo. I guess that means Trucy could have lifted the dead body up. Does that mean? Oh. 
Oh yeah, we're doing this. Is what possible? Could Trucy really have what, Mr. Fam? Please finish your sentence. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't try to beat around the bush. Come right out and say it. Why not tell this court what you really believe? What I really believe? Of course. Of course I don't believe Trucy could ever commit murder. Such an amazing and wonderful position would never do such a thing. But taking all the facts and the into account who else can I think? I know of at least three other unflattering things you really think about Trucy. <laughs> How can you attack this girl when she is obviously speaking with reserve? There is such a thing as reading between the lines, Mr. Justice. It's sad how the youth of today lack the ability to do such a basic thing. <coughs> Looking at me like that isn't going to help me stick my foot in my mouth less, Your Honor. Witness, please describe what the accused might have used to lift the dead body. All right. Stage lift number two. You mean the stage lift shown here on the left? That's right. With stage lift, I think I think even a small girl could easily lift a dead body up into the stage. And so that makes her the murderer, in your opinion. Of course not! I believe in Trucy! Like I said, I'm a huge fan of hers! Oh, brother. How long is she gonna keep this act up? Until you present the evidence. Yeah. Defense. What position was stage, was stage lift number two in after the show? Let's see. If I recall... It was in the fully raised position. Ah! And the reason why why it was fully raised is because the accused used it to lift the victim's body. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Feel free to slowly mull it over while you roost roast over the flames of hell, you evil red pepper. Mmm, that sounds delicious. So now I'm also evil? You didn't have a single spare moment to slip down to the understage passage? And commit a murder? Huh? D don't tell me you suspect me, miss. Now? Um, yes. I'm just trying to do my job by fully ex fully examining your alibi. Depending on how solid it is, I might have to suspect you, yes. You've got to be kidding me. Don't spit on my head and tell me it's raining, Lord and boy. I'm right there in the footage. Or are you... are you too much of an idiot to see? Huh? M Mr. Farm. I can't figure out what that joke is. Mr. Farm, are you feeling alright? You seem suddenly different. The only thing I think of is, like, fame. Like, she wants fame. Oh, like, she missed the fame. Maybe. Yeah. But 
I don't know what bond de fame is. Well, bunny, bunny. All right, well, right, right, right. I guess like bunny of fame. I don't know. Oh, uh, oops. Oh, where did that come from, right? Oh my! I seem to have snapped the for a second. Did my be distracted by this cute bunny in my hat? <laughs> You didn't just snap. You broke character just now. In any case, I was on stage the whole time performing magic. I mean, you saw the footage, right? My dazzling and flawless performance? Flawless? That's odd, considering what you told me. You said you made a mistake with where you positioned Mr. Hat. <laughs> Mr. Farm, to what do the, does the defense referring? Well, well, I made a little mistake on stage. I was in charge of operating Mr. Hat, you see. Yes, my favorite diagram. <laughs> According to the script, I was supposed to place him on to the left of the coffin. But I flubbed it up and uh, I made him stand on the right of the coffin instead. And because of that mistake, Juicy had to move the, sta <coughs> the stage lifts around. I feel really bad about messing Trucy up and that with my goof. Darn it. I don't see any inconsistencies in her testimony. <laughs> now, now do you want to see? Now but, do you know who? Now do you know who the killer is? Come here, Gramps. Don't just sit there. Hand down your rolling pronto. Do it quick before you keel over up there. I I beg your pardon. Oops! Oh, what's gotten into me? I'm so sorry. I think the judge would be used to characters suddenly having a split personality. <laughs> yeah. If I give her another five minutes before she tears off that mask. Well, defense. Are you ready to let it all go now? No. Of course not. I'll never give up. I see. I suppose this too is fate. The sacred scriptures of Koreanism describe a variety of hell for the damned. For someone like you, who struggles ceaselessly against his fate. Papul Bojig seems most appropriate. People boil what? Oh wait, that's Koreanese. What, what sort of terrible places uh, Papul Borjig. A place where the more one struggles, the further one falls into the abyss. At the bottom of the abyss, a ferocious beast awaits. Your Honor, is this relevant? <laughs> Think of it as something akin to an... 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 Antlion. An antlion. An, an antlion's sand pit trap. Oh, it's antlion. <laughs> Oh, there's one of those in my backyard. Wow, Kurinese hell is closer to the home than I thought. Now then. It would appear that the witness's testimony supports the prosecutor's claim. That the defendant is the only one who could have killed the victim underground. 
How are we supposed to get out of this jam? Just, yeah, let Athena yell something. <clears throat> hey, Apollo? Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, if you can't find any contradictions... Maybe it's time to use that analytical psychology? Mm. Yay! I don't like the mood matrix. The mood ma I mean, like, I feel like the mood matrix for this girl's pretty easy. Yeah. You, you mean... I heard some discord mm -hmm. in Bonnie's voice while she was testifying. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> See? Widget is picking up on fucking audacity right now. The noise. The noise in her head, too. That's... Heart. Oh, in her heart? Yeah. That's a little Orwellian. <laughs> That's right. Athena can hear things others can't with her su super sensitive hearing. She can hear the emotions people suppress as a kind of noise or discord in their voices. Alright, Athena. Let's give it a try. You got it! Your Honor! I'm afraid that our witness, Miss Defam, is suffering under terrible traumatic stress disorder or due to uh, this horrible incident. She is? Yes. What with that terrible death on stage and her beloved Trucy getting arrested, she's under awful stress, strain, and shock. In fact, I don't know how much more of this she can take before she is unfit to testify. Me, why? Oh, I've heard of this. When, what is it called? Postal stress disorder, right? When a person becomes uncontrollably angry, I think I read about it somewhere. So they go postal? <laughs> That's going postal, <laughs> Your Honor. This is PTSD. Oh my. So that's why the witness acts so hostile at times, as if she were a different person. Yep, that's that's the reason. Yep. Case closed. Let's all get hamburgers. Yes, and I think that condition is clouding her memory of the incident. Therefore, I suggest we do a short therapy session for the witness. Um, her therapy? You don't know the, the first thing about a magician's mental strength. I've risked my life jumping through rings of fire and having my body sawed in half. <laughs> Oops! Boy, I have to watch my temper, don't I? Tee -hee. Yes, therapy. <laughs> Miss Sykes, please do whatever you can to help this unfortunate young lady. And what exactly is this child planning to do, Mr. Justice? With her super sensitive hearing, Miss Sykes can hear a witness's true emotions. Simply from tone and inflection, she can tell exactly what a person is feeling. Questionable yeah. science. <laughs> <laughs> I can even pick out feelings that a witness is trying to suppress of theirs. Or hide. Or hide. Suppress or hide. Widget projects these emotions here on the mood matrix. Where I can analyze them. Sounds like some sort of spurious devilry, though I find it hard to believe, I must ask. How do emotions constitute evidence? 
Um. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I was in the other game, but I do have to wonder. While I won't say that emotions can be taken as evidence, per se, I have seen the instrument Miss Sykes. How instrumental. How instrumental Miss Sykes' work has been in cracking a case. Therefore, I wholly support giving it a try. I see. If you are in favor of it, Your Honor, then I have no objections. Even this mere monk can see that something disturbs the witness. Hmm. I'll disturb you. Oh, thank you for understanding, Prosecutor Sadamati. Apollo, you remember the concept of therapy session, right? How to conduct. How to conduct a therapy session, right? You want me to lead the session? Of course! You're the lead on the case, after all. Fair enough. But, hmm, do I need a refresher? Nope. Nope! I think I still remember from last time, so let's get right into it. Okay, okay! Are you ready, Widget? Let's do this. The future! Future! We're gonna do this mood matrix in just a second. 